chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Militech? Jack, we're talking classified military grade shit here. How'd you get it? Debug. And our girl made a couple adjustments. Why? Think she knows better? Nah. Said it didn't suit her uh, style. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Sure. Why the hell not? So? Not bad, huh? I learned some tricks. Now we can get down to biz. Will Kako give you any tips and tricks for the job? I'm not your mother. Just do what I pay you for. It's easy work. Sha. Let's do this. Elevator. This way. Targets Sandra Dorset. Targets Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Buck. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Buck, could at least try to be nice. You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. Do you have the number? What? Looking for 1237. Target should be inside, but I got zero eyes on her biomom. Fingers crossed it's not too late. Are you? Oh, I hate this life or death shit. Hurry. Try hacking the door. Think you can trip it on your own, V? Yeah, I think so. It's just a door. It's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo Immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep looking. V! Emergency on demand. How did it happen? When and why did we as a society decide that human life is a commodity, a luxury? My mother passed away at 45. She still had decades of life to live until it was all stolen from her by common pneumonia. If she had held even the cheapest trauma teen policy, she could have been cured within an hour. But she couldn't afford it. My mother died five months before her scheduled appointment with our family practitioner. The idea of privatized healthcare is deeply ingrained in our public psyche. Already in 2020, there was widespread consensus that 500 euro dollars a month was a fair price for trauma teen insurance. Health wasn't something you were given, it was something you weren't. The private system may not be perfect, but there was no alternative. We fought. Bullshit. Now cross the Pacific Ocean to the USSR, where they are also highly trained medical technicians. High precision nano surgical suites, specialized antibodies, intravenous probes, the list goes on. Emergency airlift using more than AVs equipped with cryotonic chambers. They have those too. The difference then, they don't leave 
There are people to die on the streets at this door, at their homes. They don't force anyone to purchase it. Their lives run a corporation as if they were the ones who own it. Public healthcare isn't some unachievable utopia, it's a reality. Trauma team, on the other hand, treats its policyholders as both potential pa patients to be treated and potential products to be bought. They save lives only because there is a profit in it. A safe life is a returning customer. Client death can also bring, its, bring in fiscal gains in the form of organ and implant resale, though of course in regulated smaller sums. An emergency care provider can afford to give its manager reasons to deliberately kill off its clientele base for short-term windfalls. Surely, you ask, these medical professionals are also guided by their Hippocratic oaths? Please. Oh, sorry. Cyberware usage and its side effects. Many people believe we live in a time when impossible has become an absolute term. Reaper docs can replace near any part of the human body with artificial implants, from your big toe to portions of the nervous system. My ears in Chamatin, however, taught me that the impossible is, is still very much possible, even now as we enter the twilight of the 21st century. We, as medical professionals, have not been able to eliminate all of the side effects that come from incorporating cybernetic elements into our bodies. Of course, everyone is familiar with the me mental disorder most commonly referred to as cyberpsychosis, but it doesn't end there. Although advances in medical science for the greater part of a century have reduced its incidence to a minimal, Cyberware rejection can still occur in a small subset of population. These unlucky few can experience a range of complications, but the following are the most prevalent. Immune response, the body rejects the implant causing scar tissue to continue growing to the point that it causes pain and inflammation of surrounding tissue as well as possible interference with the taxidectical circuits. Psychological effects. Neurological implants have the potential to cause unpredictable change in the brain. Possible side effects include depression, apathy, hallucinations, and sudden increases in addictive behavior, such as gambling. Implant overdependence. Long term use of a certain synthetic body part replacements can change the brain's chemistry to make it accustomed to a particular type of implant. There are reported cases of permanent brightness after patients attempt to replace their Karoshi optical implants within the different models. In the face of this known risk, what should our outlook be as consumers and medical professionals? To deny ourselves cybernetic enhancements on the 0.5% chance we could lose our vision forever or gamble away our life savings at the casino, the clear answer is no. Cyberware technology has elevated human biology to the point where these what-if arguments serve against our best interests. The best advice it can offer for minimizing your risk is to read the technomedical profiles for all, for all cyberware you intend to purchase to before you install.
Wrong button. Mm, inventory. Let me check what I got. Nothing exciting. These windows. Get his attention. I'll do the rest. Pack on the doors just clear. Watch yourself. Bueno, que chingados estás esperando? Yeah, but first, it's looting time. Pain, Editors and Mortality Rate Introduction The implant known widely as the Pain Editor is cyberware that reduces it or even entirely eliminates pain. It has enjoyed unwavering popularity for years among certain circles in Night City. The most devoted and arguably most valuable, of which is mercenaries. It is using this task group that said attack conducted the following research. The pain editor is a neural co-processor that inhibits the signal sent from nociceptors to the parietal, parietal lobe of the brain, thus preventing feelings of pain in the user. Note, some models also reduce symptoms of fatigue. The beneficial effects caused by the pain editor are in some ways similar to the symptoms of hypostasia, including greater resistance to physical forms of torture and the ability to ignore pain from several wounds which can allow the user to continue to perform beyond normal human limitations of a, for a brief period. However, some studies have reported that the pain editor can yield a range of undesirable side effects. For example, in the heat of the battle, some users are, are unaware of the severity of their wounds, 
which causes them to continue fighting without realizing they are dying and require immediate medical attention. The statistics support the theory that the lack of ne negative reinforcement may cause users to continue fighting when the rational strategy would be to retreat or escape death. Since 2020, the mortality rate of pain editor owners is above 60%. In this report, I address the question of how to, to better protect set attack clients from avoidable death while using nerfing editors. Pay or your head will explode. Hey Chun, today's our unlucky day. You probably wonder who I am. I'm a voodoo boy. Probably heard of us. Remember last time you hit the net? Yeah, me too. I hack your co-processor and install the little supplies for you. Now you do what I say or your head goes boom. I think 1000 euro dollars is a fair pay to keep your head. If you pay, I uninstall my supplies. If not, I brew up your head. But brew up the head of the person you love the most first. And if you tell the NCPD, I brew up your head twice. That's not even possible. You have two days to pay. And I know you read this because I install spy can in your optics. We read it together. This is not a negotiation, Chun, so do not reply. Just pay and you will believe. Implants, blah, blah, blah. And span. Need someone to wash your bag. Not really. The day the tower fell. In early August 2023, a single event would change the course of history. Although it felt against the bloody backdrop of the fourth corporate war, the global media still fed on the story for weeks. And could you blame them? A group of terrorists detonated a nuclear bomb, blowing Arasaka Tower to pieces. The terrorists' warnings came too late. Not all of the tower's employees could be evacuated. Blast itself killed and wounded thousands, while countless others died from radiation sickness. How did the biggest terrorist attack in the 21st century happen? Who was behind this catastrophe? To find the answers, we will need to first understand the context of that era. In the early 2020s was a period of unrest for Night City and anti-corporate sentiment was at all-time high. In the epicenter of the city's lawlessness stood the Atlantis Club. It was seen as an island of resistance against the powers that be, primarily mega corporations like Melitech or Biotechnica, though a special place in hell was reserved for Arasaka, the Japanese arms manufacturing Zaipatsu that held the most influence over Night City. The kinds of people who frequent the Atlantis felt that corporations had hijacked the future and turned people into consumer slaves and ironically deprived of two things capitalists love most, freedom and choice. These people called themselves edge runners. They positioned themselves against the corporate world order. They declared their own freedom in opposition to the status quo but deprived of any peaceful way to meaningfully change what they called the system, they reached for more radical methods of self-expression, and these people were no strangers to violence. Fresh meat. We won't forget, you're a dead man walking. From Victor. If any of your legs show up here again, they are in for worse than a split jaw. That's not an empty threat. Try me, motherfuckers. Toys. Got a lot of good stuff. Hand from set attack. Militech lock on sites. Arasaka hormone irregulator. No biosignature. And some other little curiosities. Okay. I'm guessing she's here. Jesus fucking Christ.
Think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our biomod. Need to know what we're dealing with. This She's in the tub of good. ice, crammed in with another. Fuck. Like slabs of meat. Keep it together, V. If she survives, she won't remember a thing. Tiny scar on the subconscious, that's all. Heard people who live through shit like this get panic attacks. Without ever knowing why. You'd be sipping a glass of ice cold water and suddenly your hand's shaking. V, jack into her biomod. We need to know what we're dealing with. Jacking in. Sandra Dorset, NC570442. Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Is that even safe? Can't we just get her out of here? We found her still breathing. Can't lose her. We need that biomon working. Checking for hemorrhages, whatever. Find that shard and yank it. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomon. Anything change? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Oh, fuck. She's flatlining. V, need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo. Fuck, this is bad. Hey, catch, Mato! I think... Holy shit, it worked. Fuera, cabrón. Get her outside. Fuera, get her out. Terrace. Okay. 